Hi, James McKernan again. Welcome back to the Scenery Farm. I'm just uh, going to show you uh, a bedroom remodeling I did for a client. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to walk through the different parts of the what's wh what we have here. I've done a series of videos recording how I built all these pieces. And uh, so I'll be uh, releasing those over the next few weeks. This is the required Beanie Boo storage. It's just an MDF um, simple box frame with a bunch of shelves it'll probably migrate to books or something else over the years if you look underneath here you can see actually a, a stringer right across on the inside that is uh, pin glued and screwed uh, and that it's mounted to the dress cable on the side of this cabinet there's another one at the top and the bottom this is all MDF construction everything has been uh, filled and sanded and painted with cabinet paint just a latex cabinet paint um, on the floor uh, you can kind of see it looks like wood grain floor wood pattern floor it's actually not it's a tile floor um, with a hydronic heating system in the bottom uh, or underneath it um, we got rid of the rad and so we have more even heat throughout the room um, this is your standard cabinet construction with the cabinet dress gables uh, surrounding it We've got clothing storage your undermount uh, bloom drawer slides here. I did, uh, I used the Lee dovetail jig to uh, dovetail the drawer boxes together. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, second half of this. There's longer clothing storage, laundry basket, and kind of stuff that's less used up top on shelves. Underneath here, this is just a simple double bed that's on a small dove uh, that's on a part of me a small wooden frame just to bring it a, an inch or so off the ground it's made at a six quarter pine and um, uh, back here we have some power wall mount power and a reading light the underside here uh, the underside of this bed is a metal frame made out of a uh, quarter by two angle iron perimeter welded up with uh, three sixteenths by two inch flat bar intermittently throughout here and then a plywood uh, mounted to it. Uh, it's a bit Captain Overbuildy as it's lagged to the wall on all the studs. We have a ledger board over there because the, um, for reasons that escape me, whoever built the house put horizontal members uh, through that wall so I had to put a ledger board to hold that end of it and then this side of the bed is attached to this cabinet and I'll show you more of that cabinet when we get upstairs. If you can come around here I'm just going to show this dress gable and so this dress gable is set beside these stairs which I'll go into in a minute and this dress gable has quarter 20 bolts through into the metal frame uh, that's holding up the bed um, and oh this this is the one of the two cats that likes to play in this room this is Nix of the Deathbringer and she's a sweetie Hello, Nixa. Uh, this is a dress gable on the side of the upper bed here that's just held in with um, uh, some number eight flathead screws and some cup washers. Up here, you have some shelving, power, reading light, and a little secret cubby hole that the client won't let me into. Um, and your standard kind of, you know, bed, little twin bed. Going up to the bed, we have these stairs. Oh, there's Nixa. Going up to the bed, we have these stairs. Each one of these lower four steps is a drawer. And uh, each of these drawers has a drawer face with a, a slope top on the drawer face. Just a, it's just a bevel on the top and a round over. And essentially, you can just pull your fingers in, put your fingers in there and pull it out. The top one has a faux drawer face right here, but this is actually cubby storage. Now, each one of these steps in this whole unit, which I show how to make in the videos, or how I made it, rather, in the videos, um, has maple stringers on the underside of the tread. This is a dress gable. This is a dress gable. The actual stringer is the side of the cabinet. And um, uh, this MDF top certainly is not rated for any kind of point load, but it's just fine in terms of... oh. oh there's Nick's opening the door. Uh, it's just fine in terms of um, got cabinet paint. It can handle slippered feet. It'll wear out over time, but the MDF has a metal 
stringer frame underneath to hold it up because a, a piece of MDF or any kind of single sheet over that span will not actually do its job without some kind of frame underneath it to hold it and the drawers go all the way to the bottom all of the fasteners have been filled with uh, auto body filler and uh, pinned and glued and all that kind of stuff has an eighth inch round over on everything coming over here uh, this is the cat playground um, I show how to make these uh, how I made these floating shelves with a metal frame um, this is all multiple layers of MDF where the front edges have been filled and sanded and uh, then painted. Um, we have the low, air, low area here and then there's a hole that the cats can jump through here and they, they go through here. They can come up here, jump through there because there's a hole there, come out here and then hang out up there with their long lost buddy. Um, and uh, one of the great things about having this cat playground is when you need to wake the client up in the morning you actually just open the door let the cats in and then they play on their playground oh and this <laughs> excellent timing this is uh, Zarek the bone cruncher the other of the two cats and he's just demonstrating how this works hey dear how are you yeah all right so I made this for a pretty important client and I think it worked out well. It's taken a whole bunch of weekends. In fact, this has been done for half a year. I just had to get around to making this final video. Uh, so yeah, I hope it works. It's great, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.